Welcome to MEI Mechanics. We're on the topic Centre of Mass and this is video 1.4 Centre of Mass of Composite Bodies in 2D. So the strategy for dealing with composite shapes is to find the centre of mass of each of the individual components of that shape and then combine them as we would do with point masses. Uh, and sometimes it actually turns out to be easier to think of the composite shape as a, a larger simple shape with other simple shapes subtracted from it, sort of cut out from cards for example. And we can deal with that mathematically by subtracting rather than adding. And the sort of situations that we can apply this idea to include two-dimensional uh, laminas like we've seen already, uh, wire frames, and also three-dimensional solids, as we'll see in a later video. So this first example is a wire frame. Uh, it's uniform thickness. So we can see this frame is made up of two individual pieces. And because it's got uniform thickness, they are essentially uniform bars. We know already that the center of mass of each of those individual pieces is are going to be halfway along each piece like that. So center of mass of that one there, center of mass of that one there. All right, and we can think about the um, then the position of those relative to this origin. This one is clearly 10 centimeters to the right of the origin. This one would be 15 centimeters above the origin. And just like the example that we saw in the previous video, we're not told any actual masses here, but what we do know is that the mass of these are going to be proportional to their length. So we'll say that this bar has a mass of 20k, and this one has a mass of 30k. So now we're ready to uh, combine these. We'll do this with the help of a table. Um, so for shape A, well, we'll call this one A, and we'll call this one B. Mass of shape A is 20k. X coordinate of the center of mass of shape A is 10. And the Y coordinate is 0. And then for shape B, mass is 30k. X coordinate of its center of mass is 0. Y coordinate is 15. So multiplying the 20k by the x coordinate gives us 200k. And then obviously 0 for y times the mass. And then for shape b, we have 0. And then 30 times 15, which is 450k. We then need to add these up. So total mass is 50k and sum of these values is 200k sum of these is 450k and then we do our standard calculation now for the center of mass in the x direction so it's a sum of the individual x values times the masses which is 200k over the total mass which is 50k. So the k's cancel, 200 over 50 is 4. So the x coordinate of the center of mass is 4. If we do the same thing for the y coordinate, so we'll be doing 450k divided by 50k uh, and that is clearly 9. So the center of mass is at coordinate 4, 9 and that's relative to this origin. So roughly where is that? Well, uh, about there along that bar and round about there, just roughly, just so we can see it. And again, we can understand this because the mass is sort of concentrated around this region where you've got both the bars. All right, so this is sort of makes sense in terms of what we'd expect. Now, in this example, uh, what we have is we have a rectangular piece of card, uh, and from that card, two shapes have been cut out. Now, we could try to think about making this shape by adding lots of little pieces together, but
but that's going to be quite difficult. In fact, when it comes to things like the pieces that we'd put together to make the edge of a circle, very difficult indeed, to say the least. Uh, but there's a much easier way of thinking about it, which is rather than um, adding lots of things together, we can think of the piece of card with these two shapes subtracted from it. All right, so in a sense, we can think of these as being shapes of negative mass. That's clearly not really uh, the case. Um, but mathematically, we can imagine this as being the whole piece of card, then with two negative mass shapes added to it. Uh, again, we've got a table which can help us with this. Um, so the mass of the whole piece of card, well, let's have a look at its uh, dimensions. So the area of that triangle is what's going to give us something which is proportional to the mass. Um, and that is 1350 multiplied by our usual constant there, k. Okay. X coordinate of this, well, it's halfway along, half of 45 is 22.5. Y coordinate is half of 30, uh, which is 15. Okay, and then later we will multiply those two values together to get XI, MI, and we'll multiply those two values together to get YI, MI. Now for the triangle, um, we want to think about this then as a negative uh, mass or a positive mass which we're going to subtract. Okay, so what I'll do is we'll put a little minus sign here um, to indicate that we're thinking this really as a, as a subtraction or a negative mass. And the area of that triangle is uh, uh, given to us as 100 centimeters, uh, 100 square centimeters. So here we can put uh, 100k. X coordinate of the triangle is 10. And the Y coordinate is 11. OK, and we can continue in, in that fashion. We'll multiply those numbers across and we'll end up with these values. All right, so notice, as I say, we've got a negative there for the triangle, a negative there for the circle with its uh, given um, mass. We've got the given uh, coordinates of the circle there, and then we've just multiplied these across to get these values. And then when we've added these values together, we've either thinking of this as adding a negative um, 1100k, or subtracting a positive 1100k. You might have a preference as to how you want to think about it. Um, as long as in the end you're doing that value, subtracting these two values, then we get that value in the end. All right, and then to work out the center of mass, usual calculation then, so for example, that x coordinate, we take this value here, um, uh, 26,000, 627.5 k dividing it by the total mass 1171.5 k k's cancel and that x coordinate is approximately 22.7 all right centimeters do exactly the same type of thing for y using this value and this value and that gives us 15.3 and those are then the coordinates of the center of mass of that shape. So that concludes video 1.4, center of mass of composite bodies in 2D. In the next video 1.5, we're going to look at the center of mass of composite bodies in 3D.